Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Tone Cave. I am Papa Tone. Around here, Halloween is our favorite. And right now, we're kind of moving houses, lots of things and boxes and bins. And I wanted to take some time and relax and do a fun Halloween build, which is why you're here. We're gonna show you how to make a very easy light up skull. Mm. I am noticing that today the beard game is not particularly strong. The hat game, however. Say what now? Oh yeah, I'm feeling it. Let's talk about the easiest build or what we can call our no skill build. First, get a skull. Mine cost me about $30 on Amazon. If you want to work with something less expensive, thinner plastic, go right ahead. A great way to save money on props like this is to shop for them after Halloween and save them for next year. Second, you can go to a store called Harbor Freight and they have these. They are called Super Bright Flip Lights. And you can see I use them so often, I bought a whole box. What I love about these is that they include the switch. They're very bright. They're easy to take apart, and they only cost about $2.50, I think, a piece. Now, some people might say, oh, that's kind of expensive for an LED setup or things, but for me, when I'm building, I like to do things that I can just sort of take apart and repurpose as opposed to soldering and all that kind of stuff. So that's why I use these for this particular build. So here's how it works. Open your skull, turn on your super bright flip light, put it inside the skull, close the skull, you've got your very own light up skull lantern. And if you flip the light over, so this time it's gonna be pointing upwards, you get a little bit of a different effect. You get more illumination in the upper dome area of the skull and a little bit less light down here. So of course you could get two of these and glue them together and have light going up and light going down. Now there's all kinds of things you can do to make it look cooler. And we're gonna get into that as we continue the video. But if you're somebody like me who you're usually in a rush when you're building a prop, this is a very simple way to build a skull. Enjoy, happy Halloween. And here we go, let's get back to the rest of the video. We gotta clear some space on the workbench. Da, 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 da. Now this is gonna be what we in the business like to call a QND build, which stands for Gus Gris. And dirty. That's right, Gus Gris, quick and dirty. Okay, so when I first started doing this, um, I didn't know how to solder. So I am always looking for shortcuts. And here is my favorite shortcut when it comes to adding light to a prop. No! It's just a little switch. There you go. And you got some light, some nice little bright LEDs. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this apart and we're going to put it in the skull. So this is for people who just want to throw some light in something. No special effects or, you know, raspberry pie boards or anything like that. Just one simple little thing that uh, helps you add some light. There we go. Okay. Ooh, that's nice, right? 250. How do you open it? I, uh, I use this. Put that little battery deal in there. Get you one of these uh, long-o deals. Close that up. Throw in your screw dealy type item. And then uh, you go like this. Now, you can do this with a handheld screwdriver, but it'll take a little longer, which is why I prefer using the drill. She comes right out like that. See it? Teensy, tiny. Oh, don't. And uh, ideally, you want to have one of these little bowls right here. This is handy. And you take it and you put your little screw and it sticks in there because it's magnetic. So you don't lose them because that's one big issue with working with tiny stuff. So we're going to do that on all four sides. Oh, yeah, that, that fourth one's really in there. We got it. Come on out of there. Oop. That's a fun noise. Now we got it, and you just kind of work it open. There you go, that little plastic top comes off. Now we gotta take this stuff off the back. There's some more screws. I guess we should maybe change to a slightly less awkward angle. So these two little screws on the back remove the casing for the light switch, and with that, the whole assembly comes apart. When you're working, try not to twist the wires or pull on them because they'll come apart. Now I'm going to use a wire cutters to break the plastic housing apart. 
you don't have to do this. You could use it the way it is, but it fits a little better if you take it apart and it's just kind of fun to do. You can do this with a heavy scissors or just break it apart with your hands, but you might cut yourself doing that. So at the very least wear gloves but use tools if you can. When you're cutting, try to stay away from the battery compartments. You need those to stay relatively together. The one downside to breaking the casing up is that the battery doors might not work as well, so you might need to enhance them with tape or something. And like I said before, if you don't feel like doing all of this, just put the light in the skull, tape it in place with some gaff tape if you're worried about it falling out, and you're done. If you want to incorporate the switch into your design, take the two little screws you removed and set the switch back on top of the little black switch and put them together. You could use the switch for lots of different things. It could be fun to cut a hole in the skull so the switch is visible, for instance. But I'm not going to be doing that here. The next step will be to hot glue things in place. Before you start though, you might want to audition how you're setting up the battery assembly and add any jewels or other accents you want to add just to sort of practice things. Now we're going to start hot gluing. I basically just fiddled with the pieces of the light assembly, glued all that together, checked that everything was still working, and then glued that in place inside the skull. You'll notice that the battery doors aren't in place yet. I did find that I need those because the batteries fall out pretty easy. So make sure you can still use those when you put your casing inside the prop. I added a few globs of glue after the fact to keep the switch from moving around. There are a thousand ways to do this neater and more precisely, but this is truly a one day build and really more like a few hours. So we're moving quick. I do want to say this light can be used with less expensive skulls or other props like pumpkins. That's why I like it. It's cheap, it's easy to use, and versatile. The only downside, you have to remember to turn it off. Maybe next year we'll make one that you can plug in or that uses some solar power. The next step is decorating the skull. First, we're gonna scuff it up with any old sandpaper. This gives the acrylic paints I'm gonna use something to hold on to and adds texture. After you're done sanding, spray the whole thing off with the 70% alcohol mixture to get the plastic dust off. You can just use water, but the alcohol mix dries faster. I tried to drill some bigger holes in the eyes to get more light in the jewels that I'm going to put in, but it was kind of a half successful effort. I had to get in there with other tools to clear out the debris and that took some time. I think the next time I do this, I'm just going to leave the skull the way it is. It's all right. It's all right. Next, I added some rub and buff, which is a fun paint wax type thing that helps give accents to your prop. I used gold leaf here and gave the skull some tribal crown accents and went over some of the raised surfaces just because it was kind of fun. While I was doing this, I accidentally dropped the skull and the gold leaf while I was working and the cheek got covered in gold. So keeping in mind what good old Bob Ross says, there are no mistakes, only happy accidents. I left it and kept moving. Since this skull is going to be for a pirate themed display this year, I also gave him a gold grill and then grimed him up with a black wash. To make black wash, just mix some cheap craft paint. In this case, I used black and brown with a little water. Then you can paint it on and wipe it off or do what's called dry brushing, which means you just get most of the paint off the brush and brush in details into cracks and crevices and then wipe off the excess. After that, since I had a little extra time, I painted in some random details, some of which lasted and some of which did not. Now it's all just fun stuff to finish up trying out different eye colors, adding an earring from the family costume box, and incorporating some costume jewelry we bought at an estate sale a few weeks ago. So there he is, Captain Soulpatch, King of the Pirates. He's all done and ready for our Halloween display. An illuminated, grunged up skull lantern. Simple, fun, and done in a few hours time. Make one, and have a happy Halloween 2021.